LA Coliseum where some of Hollywood's loveliest ladies skipped a couple hours of beauty sleep to come out and not just talk the talk, but walk the walk for breast cancer awareness. Last 14 years, we've raised over $45 million, and we're going to keep at it until we find a cure. This is, you know, my first real event for Revlon. Um, truly, one of the reasons why I chose to be part of, of the Revlon family was, you know, the, the fact that they really give back in a, in, in a way that no other company that I'm aware of does. Um, you know, they've already raised $45 million uh, for breast cancer awareness just through this Run Walk event. Um, and I think that's incredible. It's great. I mean, this is a celebration because those of us who are survivors are here, you know, being able to celebrate. And those of us who are walking in memory of people, I think it's a great release. And it's also an incredible cause. It raises tons of money for, for finding a cure. Being a part of the Revlon family to me is really important because of this. It's not just like, you know, you know, they're just such a moral company and they really care about women. and. Ron Perlman and Lou Tartikoff have done such an amazing job. This is like the 14th annual Revlon One Walk. Well, this is probably the biggest. It's incredibly high profile. The numbers are incredible. You got 50,000 people here today. So, I mean, it's it's overwhelming to see this kind of support, and it's great. Well, we're at the Entertainment Industry Foundation Revlon Run Walk in Los Angeles for women's cancers, and I'm a uterine cancer survivor, and I'm here on behalf of my organization, the Cancer Schmancer Movement. And we're dedicated to ensuring that all women's cancers get diagnosed in stage one when they're most curable by galvanizing together and alerting Capitol Hill that the collective female vote is powerful and wants to see change in funding, education, and research. Five, four, three, two, one. I often look for a running partner in the morning and it's not so easy to find one. And now we have what? 1.3 million or something across the country, it's great. I'm walking because I got 100 people with me. <laughs> you know, exactly, it's, you know. But you know what, it's a beautiful walk on a gorgeous day in Los Angeles. We're gonna have a great time. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna walk today. Yeah, I would run, but it's not cute when I'm done. <laughs> Sweating and huffing and puffing and I'll be an embarrassment. It's my first year, I'm a newbie. I'm the rookie on the team. You lose a friend here, you lose a friend there, and you just try to bring awareness anytime you can to any kind of a disease that you can probably survive from if you find it fast enough. And those are some important issues, I think. I'm here because I'm basically celebrating life. Uh, one of the spokeswomen for Revlon, so I'm very honored. And um, I'm celebrating my survivorship. I was given a year to live, and I was diagnosed at age 30, stage four metastatic breast cancer. So I'm surpassed that, and I'm going on a year and five months of being beating this devastating disease and having no evidence of disease in my body at this time. My wife's a survivor, and so um, she's been doing the walk for the run walk for, for a few years now. And last year I was uh, invited to join her. It was her thing, and, and uh, now I get to participate with her. It's it's. It's cool, it's really awesome. Um, I think everybody that gets diagnosed, or anyone who gets diagnosed, it, it really causes a shift in your life. There's before cancer and after cancer, and for me, it, it really informed me about how I wanted to live the rest of my life. You know, really absorbing every moment and not getting bogged down in the small stuff. I realize that cancer affects so many people. Um, there's not, I, I mean, I can't think of one person who hasn't been affected by a loved one or someone they know having cancer. So, you know, it's really something that um, is great to come together and, and fight and, and to try to raise money and awareness and encourage people to, to have early testing and that, um, you know, young people especially, I think, are feel like they're in, it, it can never happen to them, and it's proving time and time again that no one's safe. So we need to, you know, just get awareness out there, and knowledge is power. So um, I know it's the number one cancer outside of skin cancer that affects women, and um, you know, I, I get year I get yearly exams. I'm young. I it's probably too early for me to get them, but because cancer, you know, does run in the family, and I, you know, I, I, just, I like to be careful. So even though I'm 26, I am 26. I can't believe I'm 26. Um, yeah, I, I, I do I do get uh, my yearly exams, and I think it's very important. And so search, do your self-examinations. That's the most important thing.